I promised you all, when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm gonna run a half marathon. In today's video, you're gonna find out which one. So the way that I make these videos is that I film a week, then edit the next week, and then post. So I'm always like a little bit behind. So I'm almost nearly at 6,000 subscribers as I'm filming this video. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who's started following my little running journey and is also watching some of my other videos that maybe aren't so much about running. I just wanna thank you all so much for following along on this journey, this weird creative YouTube journey for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Just click the subscribe button, it, it, it takes no effort at all. Just click it, it's free. So I'm not gonna tell you what the half marathon is just yet. I'm gonna leave you hanging for a bit, but put in the comments below any guesses you might have. See if you can guess the half marathon that I'm gonna do. It's Wednesday, I need to go out for my session. It is pouring outside, which is no fun, no fun at all, but we have to get it done. Let's get going. I'm procrastinating today. It's, it was really wet outside. I really don't want to go for this run. I've got loads of work to do, so I've been kind of doing little bits of work, but not really kind of focusing on one thing. So I'm not really doing good quality work this morning. So yeah, I, I just need to go, just need to go for this run. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna put my shoes on, and then that's it. I can't, I can't get out of it now. Gotta go. So it's session day today, and we've got one that we've already done before, which is kind of the first time that I've kind of like copied something. I've had similar ones, but we've li we're literally copying a session we did the other week. So it'll be really interesting to see if I can improve on it, basically. It is six, five, four, three, two, one, with 90 seconds rest, and then four, four 30 second sprints at the end, I think. Yep, so that's, it's four times 30 at the end. I'm hoping that I can get at least the six at about eight bang on. And last time I did it at 8.14. So hopefully I can basically improve on all of the times. We'll see how it goes. Let's get to it. Warm up done, feeling good, ready to do it. I think we need the GoPro. Every time I press record, I need to press it like a couple of times and then sometimes it'll just freeze and I'll have to turn it off. So that's not ideal in running, I'm trying to focus on the session. So if there isn't much uh, footage from the session, I'm sorry. I might use my phone in between in the 90 seconds uh, just to update you. But um, yeah, we'll see, let's get this going. <laughs> Six minutes done, feeling good. Oh, yeah. Hello fitness. It just feels so much easier to get down to that pace. I mean, I was doing that pace on the treadmill for 20 minutes, so it should feel reasonably easy. So yeah, another minute, off for the five minutes. Fart neck done. Now it's just onto the sprint. Oh, I definitely overcooked the first two. It felt so good. And then the four, the three, and even the two I could push at the end because it was a shorter time. But yeah, the four and the three were a bit tough just trying to push to the end. So it'll be interesting to see what splits I get. Two minutes rest and then four by 30. There you go. Session done. Oh, oh dear. It was good though. It felt tough. I haven't got a very good memory, but feel like it felt slightly better than the one I did about a month and a bit ago. So I'm going to take that as a win. We'll compare the splits. I'm pretty sure, especially in the first half, I managed to run a bit faster than about a month ago, which is good. But yeah, let's get back to the car into some warmth and uh, we can go through the splits. All right, we're back. We're warm. We're showered. Oh, that took a lot out of me, but it was good. It was good. And now we're going to go through the splits. This side, I'm going to put the splits from the original that I did a month ago. And on this side, we're gonna compare them with the splits that I did today, okay? So, <clears throat> what did we do the six minute in? I did it at 8.14 pace. And today I did it at 7.55 pace. So that's a good, that's a good drop down. And I felt really, really good in that six minutes. For the five, the last time we did it at 7.58. This week we did it in a 7.39. So again, bringing it down really, really nicely. Four, the four minute we did last time at a 7.40, so pretty much what I did the five minutes at this week, and I did it at a 7.27. So yeah, really, up until now, everything is going great, and then disaster hits, the three minute. Don't know what happened. I just, 
I think I might have blown up a little bit towards the end of that three minutes. So last last time I did it in 7.16 up here, but this week I did it in a 7.35. So yeah, not so good on that, that one, but we rectify it a little bit. Last time I did the two minutes in 7.16 pace, and this week I did it in a 7.06. And then the one minute is pretty much bang on the same. It was 6.49, 6.50. So I was just getting a bit fatigued by the end of it. And that, that maybe says something about the way that I approached it. Maybe I should have taken the longer reps just a tad more conservative than I did. But eh, all in all a good session. I need some lunch. I am starving. And then, yeah, today is going to be a mad day of editing because I have my parents coming this weekend to keep me company while I'm alone. And I do a lot of work on Saturdays. <laughs> So I'm not going to be able to do so much. So I need to get my video and Philly's video almost done today. And then I'm working on a client's video as well, which he's really, really easy to work with. And he's happy for it to come whenever. And he only got me the files last night. So probably won't get his video done until early next week. But a lot of editing to be done today. There's something I've actually tasked myself while Philly's away. I'm very good at just being an introvert, staying indoors, not doing much. And so what I've tasked myself to do is to kind of push myself to go out and do things. So my friend is in town. He's actually performing a show called Stranger Sings in Stockport tonight. I'm gonna go on my own, on my lonesome, and then we're gonna go for a, a little pint or a little drink afterwards. Non-alcoholic for me, because I'll be driving. But yeah, I'll take you along. Obviously I can't film it, but it's cool. Good morning, people. It is early for me on a Friday morning. We've got a lot to do this morning. I have got to go for my run now. I'm literally gonna get out and go before breakfast. I've got to basically clean the house because my parents are coming this afternoon. And I've also got the Kafuzi video to edit and potentially one or two other small short form stuff that I am editing for Relay Podcast, which if you haven't checked it out, it's a group of, uh, I think it's eight or nine podcasters who've come together as like a collective and they do two podcasts a week. I'll put, I'll, I'll put their little handle here, but go check them out there. They're doing some great stuff. And as well, something really frustrating has happened. Oh, oh, it's light has come on. Ah, so this bad boy, when its battery ran out the other day in the session, it just didn't turn back on again. I had charged it last night and it was just not coming on. So it currently says there's 30% battery. So what I'm gonna do is charge it to 100% and try and make sure that I've always got it 100% because it died at like 30 something percent. So yeah, I think we need a new GoPro. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. That was brutal. Oh, it was so wet, it was so cold, it was so rainy. It was just not nice. I felt like absolute crap. <laughs> I was struggling. I was just plodding along, just trying to get it done. But no, I managed to get it done. The amount of times I was like, oh, should I cut it short? I've got a lot to do today. I could cut it short, but I'm no, kind of proud of myself for doing it. So, <sighs> uh, let's get to work. I'm back. I'm sorry. After Friday, my parents came and we had a nice weekend. It's my birthday on Monday and obviously Philly is not here. So they came to keep me company. They've just left. It is Sunday. What did we do? We went out to Manchester on Saturday, saw some, a really nice garden, went for Dishoom, went for some ice cream. And then, yeah, chilled out this morning. Had a very relaxing morning. Just went for a little walk. I still need to go do my long run. And then I'm going to Kira. Kira McGeehan's later this evening to have sushi. What is my life? And don't worry, I haven't forgotten that I'm gonna tell you guys what half marathon I'm doing. I'll get to that later, I promise. But without further ado, what do we need to do? Go for a long run. Two points before we get going. One, winter has turned up all of a sudden, literally last night, frost on all the cars. It's quarter past two and it's only eight degrees. So, I mean, it's this is the weather it should be, but it's been unseasonably warm, so I've kind of got used to that. So it's long sleeve weather and it's the first winter with my shaved head. And I hate hats as, I mean, I don't know if you can see, I don't think they look good on my head, but I went for a walk with my parents earlier and I was like, ah, I need to get used to wearing hats again because my head gets really, really cold. Second point, I'll get to on the run. <laughs> 
I was talking to coach about my long runs and how I'm struggling to keep by the end keep it in the green in the, in the zone two areas and she said well because you have three rest days a week and only one session a week that's absolutely fine and if anything to kind of help you move on with fitness a bit if you feel like you feel good have a little push at the end um kind of grind into it build into the into the pace a little bit and i did that last week which was really nice it felt good uh, really easy first half and then by the end you know going from 10 30 minute milings all the way down to kind of nine minute miling just keeping it nice and steady uh, which is really nice so i'm gonna give that a try today again do half of it trying to stay in the green and then and then yeah when we get to the, the latter end pushing up and seeing how i feel Right, just turn around at 3.6 miles. I'm going to hit four because uh, I should hit seven with a total. And then each mile, I'm going to just pick it up a little bit. Not too much, not feeling as good as last week, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> Um, so it's six o'clock. I got back from my run hours ago and I was just like dead, dead to the world. I, uh, I relaxed, I had a bath. Yeah, it got a bit late. So I know you're all going, tell me, tell me what this marathon is. Half marathon. I'll tell you tomorrow. Disappointed! I'll leave you guessing one more day. I know it's Sunday and I know I need to start recording the next video tomorrow as well, but I want to sit down properly and discuss why I've picked this. But I'll give you one more clue to help you edit some of your comments maybe from the beginning of the video. It is in the north. I'm staying in the north. Oh yeah, sorry. And the the long run, it was good. Again, the GoPro died. So yeah, ha, you're gonna have to enjoy for the next maybe week or two before I order a new one. The beginning of runs and then suddenly it chopping out. So uh, yeah, unfortunately that's just what we're gonna have to deal with at the moment, but I hit four miles. No, just before four miles, I moved up the pace and every mile last 0.5 miles when I took a little bit of a kind of cool down. So for the first four miles, I went from, I did 10.20, 10.42, 10.42, 10.26. And then I went down to 9.49, 9.30, and then 8.59 minute miling. And then the last half a mile-ish was 10.18. I just built into it and I loved it. It was great. I felt better in the, the faster miles than I did in the first four. Good one after all. And tomorrow we'll, I promise, we'll sit down properly. It's the evening. I'm kind of just chilling now and sitting on the sofa. And I I don't want to announce the half marathon just chilling on my sofa, so I'll set it up properly and we'll do a big announcement tomorrow. Stay tuned. Drum roll please, editor. I mean, that's just, that's just me in the future, but... And the half marathon that I'm doing is... The Wilmslow Half Marathon. And some cheers here as well, please. I finally picked one, all right? You guys can get off my back. It's coming. 24th of March, 2024, I'll be running the Wilmser Half Marathon. Now, why did I pick this half marathon? Two reasons. Number one, lots of people suggested this one, saying that it's pretty flat, it's pretty fast, and I'm down for that, to be honest. And secondly, just convenience. It's very close to where we live. It's less than a half an hour drive. And with our crazy schedule and Philly being quite close to some big races in the track season, I think it's best if we just try to do something that's as easy as possible, that's very close so that we don't have to worry too much about booking somewhere to stay and all that kind of jazz. That is the second reason why. I'm pretty excited, you know. When Philly put me in for that 10K ages ago, of oh, the dread the absolute dread but now signing up for something it's a little bit more exciting it feels like i'm training for something which is something that i haven't really done since i've been back yes park run but something that's like a, a real race a real target i will confirm much closer to the time that i'm actually doing it because who knows life gets in the way i will potentially do a meetup with philly as well obviously either probably after the race and once I know kind of what time I'm aiming for, then maybe if anyone else is doing it, we can run together or we can support each other or whatever. And even if you're not running it, just come out and support would be really, really lovely. But yeah, there you go. Wilmslow Half will be my first half marathon. Exciting. <laughs>